Alright, right there. I'm eating. Like I'm finishing eating. Ronnie and Ted are over there talking about wiring and truck stuff. Let's see what he wants. Here's Bowser. We don't need to. He did. This looks serious. Say hello, Ted. <laughs> that is Ted. This is Ronnie. I'm doing my and I'm Bo. And these are Ronnie's chicken wings. Mm. So, put the motor in and let's start wiring stuff up. Huh? Yeah. Alright, so Bo, I don't have the motor back for the machine shop yet, okay. but we're trying to like get moving because I'm tired of waiting on everybody else. Um, so we're going to take the motor that I got from Eddie and, and Demi. And we're going to bring it over here, we're going to drop the pan off of it, and we're going to stick it into the, this bay. Okay. Um, may try to stick it into the tray just to, so it's somewhat where it needs to go, but it just needs to sit on these motor mounts. Okay, why are we because putting the motor in the bay? So we can start wiring up. Woo! <clears throat> right on. Yeah, so, uh, hopefully answer a lot of questions. Anybody that's trying to go micro squirt, we can kind of give the rundown. Micro squirt harness, really okay. nice and neat. It's already mounted up inside the truck, coming through the firewall. All we need is an engine right here. So we can run all these uh, wires to sensors. Yep. So I'm going to go scoop it up. Makes me nervous. You picking the uh, motor up right next to the STI like that. I got insurance. No. Right, he probably stole it. <laughs> Levi steals and hides everything around here. So now we're looking for the handle to lift the uh, cherry picker up. You see my jack handle? Nice. <laughs> Work. We got one of these ones. It's just like air. You're all. Man, that's nice. So nice. Hurry up. Do I need screwdriver? Man, hurry up. Sure. <laughs> you want to take turns? It's like watching the grass grow. <laughs> I'm winded. <laughs> Might need to go up a little more. Well, the pan looks like it might catch the top there. This should be good. Oh, we should be able to right. wire it up like that. <clears throat> We're just going to leave it like this so nobody dies. And so we don't have to do too much work. And then we're going to wire it up. Are oh, you going to move the cherry picker? Yeah. It'd probably be easier to move around the truck that way. Yeah. And it seems like it's in there okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I mean, we're just wiring. <laughs> just um, wiring. Shaking the crap out of it. Dang, what a pretty KA. <laughs> Funny guy, Bo. That's me. I'm funny guy, Bo. Excuse me, funny guy, Bo. Funny guy. is moving. That's kind of crooked. All right. All right? All right, where are all the connectors for this thing?
So we're using a plethora. That's my word of the day from Sesame Street. Sesame Street. Oh, connectors. Excuse me, pool table. This poor pool table is so abused. Dude, I cleaned it up. But totally it makes clean. such a good workbench. Totally clean. My goodness. Together. Say that again. Four wire connectors, three wire, two wire that Bo likes to break. Did I break those? Yeah, well, remember. Oh. Like, you were like, how good are these? Bram, bram, pulled the wire out. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's the one complaint on Amazon. The wire is four out Nice. So, anyways. Hey, I'm quality control. <laughs> yeah. They, well, you need to go work in the Amazon warehouse. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to use these into the micro squirt harness. Okay. With like these generic connectors. And then we're going to take the other side and splice them into the 240 harness that's over there. Oh, okay. That way if I ever take this out, I can just unplug and this is for the mat or whatever. And then I can put it in another car and just make pigtails for everything. That's a good idea. Did you yes, think sir. of that yourself? Yeah, I did. So you got a chicken wing in, huh? Yep, chicken wing. <laughs> that's his celebratory pose. I thought of that all by myself. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's that's where we're at. So all we right. brought the uh, mat scientist over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whoa. <laughs> Ted, <laughs> Ted wired up the micro squirt on his uh, Outback wagon that he turboed. And so we figured what better person to come help us. Than right on. It's already been through all the troubles. What other wiring have you done, Ted? Uh, let's see here. I've done EJ swaps with uh, older Subaru. Um, wired auxiliary lighting. And I'm currently doing miscellaneous wiring in my house currently. And you did all fact. You did uh, factory ECU with Rose, right? Mm-hmm. Dang. Then you get back to work. Oh, that's right. My 2000 Impreza uh, RS. Hang on one second. That's real loud. Hi, Levi. Hi, Levi. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, my 2000 Impreza RS. Got a uh, WRX STI-ish um, engine and six-speed manual. Dang, and you wired up all that with factory wiring. No! no? <laughs> so here's where we are. We're cutting up old uh, KA harnesses down here to be able to get connectors for all of our sensors. Gabe came by. Yeah, hello. That's his face. Ronnie and Ted are over here trying to figure this uh, wiring junk out. We got a couple of things run. No connectors on yet, but we're working on it. It's getting late. Oh, sick. I'm not yeah. sick. I'm just a sicko. I'm going to have to go to work in just a few minutes. No, see, he's sick. It's a guy's night, Bo. <laughs> Saturday's for the boys. Is it? Yeah. I know it's only Friday. Isn't it Friday night? <laughs> but, but by the time we're done, it'll be Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. So, I think we're actually getting around to doing something. All right, that's Are we getting around to doing something? I mean, I think so. <laughs> I mean, swing. we like laid these wires across here so it looked like real pretty and make it look like we're doing something, but we haven't really done a whole lot of anything. <laughs> Man, this is kind of big. Hopefully it shrinks down. Well, it is heat shrink. Yeah, but how small will it go? Because it's fairly large. Anyway, so we figured out the wiring on the TPS sensor, so I think we'll probably start there. Then we'll go to the crank angle sensor because those are the two most difficult. They, they're they the only ones that have, like, intricate wiring at all. Everything else is two wires, right? Like a ground and a signal wire? Or a power and a signal wire. Like, this is the coolant temp sensor. It's a ground and a signal wire. Um, the injector, what? Where's the injector leads that we cut off? Where'd they go? Is it? Oh, here they are. Boom. 
here's the injector leads. As you can see, they're power and a signal wire, so super simple. Senor Gabriel. What's up? Can you plug this in? Right behind you. Dang, why will this thing focus? I think it's because exactly. you're moving so much. Six o'clock. What is that, for a heat gun? Yes, sir. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it the best I can. <laughs> but I'm going to do it a lot. <laughs> Yes, sir. Um, Ted? This is a KA24E. Correct, though. The wiring harnesses were unit. Bleh. The wiring harnesses and the motor are from a 240SX. Not from a hard body. Ted. Hey. <laughs> Dude, that's so hot. I want to lick it. <laughs> I would. I, I would pay to see that. <laughs> no, thank you. you don't got enough money. I like my time. I don't have a burn fetish either. <laughs> Are you sure? You have holes in your shirt. Oh, it's a legit shirt. Dude. It's from like that is a well used shirt. I was like, Dang. It can't be that old. It's a Freedom Fab shirt. Shut up. I might have to show Paul how how well you're treating his shirt. I know. I need a new one. I think. Oh, you know what it was? It was bleach. Chris got like. Dang, that's some ridiculous bleeds they are using. There's some strong stuff. No joke. I know, it's no joke. Bye, Ted. Everyone else has left by now. It doesn't look like we made any progress. But we did. We have our harnesses made over here. Um, this is this first one. That's our throttle position sensor. This one is our intake air temperature sensor. Coolant temperature sensor. Injector plugs. That's idle air control valve. More injector plugs. This is for our manifold absolute pressure. And that will get ran straight to the harness. Um, the reason I did this is just in case I were to ever pull this out of the truck. I just have these pigtails. And I can make new pigtails for whatever other motor I'm putting in here. Or the computer's going in something else. Like let's say the KA blows up and I'm like, yeah, I'm done with KAs. I want to go with a 2J. Well... All I have to do is make those new connectors instead of rewiring the whole harness. So that was the reason I did that. Um, but yeah, we're done for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we pick it back up and finish all this. I'll see you guys in. It's tomorrow now. Alright guys, we're back. Ted came over. <laughs> and we're going to get started again. Hopefully we get something done. Um, we were doing some reading. We messed up on one of the pigtails. Potentially the plug's okay. We'll, uh, we just have to use a different valve on our idle air control valve. And then, uh, we gotta wire up the crank angle sensor. Or cam angle sensor. Whatever one it is. It's one of them. We have to wire up that. And... Then deal with all these. But we got to figure it out. I'm going to get the specifics from Ted, and in the next video we'll go over all the specifics on how to do this exactly. Whew! Alright guys, this is pretty stressful. Um, but we got some stuff done. It's not as pretty as I wanted it to be, but I'm not going to complain because it looks better than it could. These are what we got done today which is our intake air temperature, our coolant temperature, and our whatever throttle body position sensor thing. We have to do idle air control valve, injectors, the crank angle sensor, and that doohickey that makes it all go bang. So that's what these are. I don't have... I, ha I have this 10 gauge wire but we want to go with 12 gauge wire to run all of that. So I gotta get 12 gauge wire. I don't have 12 gauge wire. 
Um, I mean, I do, I think. I have 14, but we want, we're going to go with 12. I'm going to go get some 12, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't know who's open tomorrow. It's Sunday tomorrow. I'll get those, and I will do what I can. This is how we're going to do it over here. So this is our 10 gauge coming out of the firewall. And we're going to splice it to two 12 gauge wires here. This one will go to the um, igniter, ignition coil, whatever it's called. And then this one will be a 12 that will split into two more 12s that will run both banks of the injectors. On this, further up here, on this side, like this, the ECU will grab its power and then we'll try and fish another um, small, medium-ish size wire in there that can run out and run the idle air control valve and the distributor. And then we got to get power to our flex fuel sensor, which we don't have yet. I'm not putting flex fuel on it. We're going to wire it up. And then when it goes to get tuned, I'll get a flex fuel sensor. We'll put it in. What I want to do is get the truck done, which is still a ways off. Then get a base map on it with little to no boost, whatever. I don't know exactly. Break it in, break the clutch in, break the motor in, get everything fat and happy, put flex fuel on it, take it to Phoenix, have them make some big power. Lucky is going to drive me crazy. He's like in here hanging out. He's knocking everything down. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Huh? Anyways. So, yeah. That's basically it. Um, we're halfway there. So, I guess this is going to be a three-part video. I was only going to make it a two-part video. When I finish up all this power stuff... That will be another video, and then we'll have the final video being more in-depth on exactly how everything is wired up. That way, if you guys want to do this, you guys will have a somewhat complete guide on how to do it, hopefully. And it'll make sense. And I'll tell you guys the struggles that I had so that you can do those better. Um, the biggest being getting 12 volts to everything. It's kind of been a pain in the butt. Um, they give you this wire... And it runs with all the rest of the wires. But it's kind of useless. Because after talking to Ted, you should run that wire into a fuse block with power onto it. So you flip a switch, gives that thing power, gives this whole fuse block power. And then everything ties into there and it goes into your engine bay. And you have 12 wires of power coming into here. So basically what I did here, but without switches where the ECU just turns it on. So, kind of crappy, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world. We'll get it all squared away, and everything will be fine. So, anyways, that's it. Um, nobody's here but me. Ted's still here. He's behind the pole. Um, but Bo's gone. Gabriel's gone. They didn't come over today. So, yeah, I guess that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully this helps. Bye, guys. Say bye, Ted. Bye! <laughs>